I spelled rah rah. Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I am going to be giving you my TBR for the first readathon I'm going to be participating in this month, which is Readorama. Now, this is a readathon that is hosted by a few different people. I will leave a link down to the main person who I watch, and she announced it, and I think she's kind of more in charge of it, and her name is Elizabeth from The Owlery, so I will leave her channel and announcement video down below if you guys want to go check that out. But this readathon starts on March 12th and goes through the 18th. So it starts on Sunday, ends on Saturday. And there are seven challenges or eight challenges, I believe actually. So I will tell you the challenge and then show you what I'm gonna be reading for it. This is also a readathon that's pretty relaxed. You don't even have to use the challenges if you don't want to. I like to use challenges if they're available. I usually don't do something for all of them, but I just think they're fun and it kind of pushes me to read something I wouldn't be picking up normally at the time. And you can combine challenges as much as you want in here if you decide to go that way. And I'm not going to be picking challenges for every single one, but a couple of them I will kind of double up. Challenge number one is to read seven books. That ain't gonna happen. It's just not. That's not realistic for me. And that's okay. So that's one I'm probably not going to be completing, but it is kind of the overall goal. Challenge number two is to pick a book that has the word Rama, R-A-M-A, in either the title or the author's name or a combination of both. So it's not the actual word, but you have to be able to spell it with the letters. So for this one, I picked The Iron Trial, and this is by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. This is part of the Magisterium series. It's book number one. And so it, in order to spell Rama, there is an R in iron. There is another A in trial. There's an M up here in magisterium, which is part of the title technically. And then there is an A in black down here. So it's R-A-M-A. -A. So I spelled the word Rama with a combination of the title and the author's names. Challenge number three is to read a book with an animal on the cover. And for this one, I'm going to be reading The Castaways by Jessica Fleck. Look at that cover. It's so beautiful with that lion head. This has been called kind of a Lord of the Flies meets Mean Girls. <laughs> That's what I read in the blurb and I was like, oh, interesting. So this one is actually an e-arc that I have. It comes out in April and I will be doing a separate review video for it on the release date, which I believe is April 3rd. So I wanted to go ahead and get it read now so that I can you know, make sure that video is ready and it just so happened that it fits one of these challenges. So I'm really excited about that. Challenge number four is to read a book that the main character shares your same initial. So my name is Sarah, so I was looking for a main character with an S. So I am going to be reading another e-arc that I have which is the whole thing all together and this is by Anne Brashers and this is actually another e-arc that I have and it comes out on April 25th. I am part of a blog tour for this so I will be doing a review and a giveaway for this book on April 5th on my channel so I just wanted to you know again make sure I go ahead and get it read so that I'm completely ready for that. This one is a shorter one as well it's just over 300 pages I think it's like 305 so that's perfect for this readathon. And one of the main characters' names is Sasha. So she shares the same first initial that I do. And so I'm going to be using this one for that. And this book is a contemporary and it kind of follows a family that is kind of blended, but not really. It's I believe that they share the same father, but neither one of them know it. And they spent, they both spent their childhoods going to this beach house, but separately. And um, eventually they come to find out that they are related and they do have family ties together. And I think they all go to this beach house to try to figure out what's going on and all that. So I'm excited to read it. Challenge number five is to read a book with Irish elements, and they put this one in there since this is going to fall around St. Patrick's Day. And I don't have any of my books that have Irish elements that I'm aware of, so I don't think this is one that I'm going to be completing. Challenge number six is to read a book about either a mental illness or a physical illness, so something where one of the main characters suffers from one of those two things. And for this one, I'm going to read another e-arc that I have that comes out in the beginning of April, and that is Other Breakable Things, and this is written by written by Kelly. York and Rowan Altwood and this one follows a 
duo, I believe, uh, just friends, and one of them had suffered a car crash and had a transplant done and is kind of dealing with the after effects of that because it's not cooperating very well. So that's definitely a physical illness and um, something that he has to overcome. It's probably a little bit more, a little bit of a mental as well. So it probably has aspects of both of those, but definitely physical. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for that one. Challenge number seven is to start a new series. And I'm going to be doubling up with the iron trial on that one because there are at least two books out of this. I'm not sure if there's a third one or not, but I know there's two completely out. And if a third one is not out already, it will be. So uh, this is going to count for that one. And challenge number eight is to read a book blind, meaning you don't have any clue what it's about. You bought it for the cover or someone recommended it to you, but you still don't know what it is. And for that one, I'm going to read The Almost Moon. This is written by Alice Siebold, again, another shorter one. And I bought this book on Book Outlet just because Alice Siebold wrote one of my favorite books, which is The Lovely Bones. And I read another one by her as well. I think it was Lucky. And I really enjoyed that too. So I like her as an author. And I just picked this up because I saw it and it was cheap. And I was like, I like her. <laughs> but I have no clue what it's about. I literally, like, I haven't read anything about it. I haven't read the blurbs. I haven't read the synopsis, nothing. So I will be going into this one completely blind going to be it for me. So that is five books that I'm hoping to read over the week of the Read-O-Rama Read-A-Thon. I really hope I can do it. I did choose some shorter books. The only one I think that is long is Other Breakable Things and I think that that one is 400 pages and I'm not sure about the castaways. I couldn't find a page count on that one. So we'll see. But I'm really excited and I will be vlogging my week as I'm reading so I can kind of show you what I'm doing. And I will probably add a few things in there of just everyday stuff that I'm doing too. And I think that'd be kind of a fun little change to my vlog. So it's not just me reading and my face talking about my reading. It'll be more like everyday stuff that we do as well. So um, I'm going to try to include that and see how that goes. All right, that's it for me. Let me know if you guys are going to be participating and what some of your picks for these challenges would be if you were. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.